Hi, I'm Wendy from Wendy's Kitchen. In this video, I'll be showing you how I make my jalapeno and cheddar sourdough loaf without using a mixer. So all the mixing, kneading and folding will be done by hand. You can find the recipe and other details in the video description below. Let's start by dissolving the mature starter or the sourdough levain in the water. Mix thoroughly and add straight into your flour mix. Use strong bread flour as this is a high hydration recipe, but you can add a little bit of whole grain if you prefer. Mix using a spatula or a wooden spoon until all the flour is hydrated. Cover the bowl with a tea towel and let this sit for about an hour. After the one hour rest, add the salt. Wet your hands and knead the dough thoroughly to incorporate the salt. Once mixed, bring the dough out onto a table and use slap and fold to further knead the dough. Now place this smooth dough in a lightly greased bowl, cover and leave to rest for about 45 minutes. After the rest, use wet hands to give this dough a couple of folds. Folding will help strengthen the gluten bonds. Cover and leave to rest for another 45 minutes, followed by a few more coil folds just like before. Cover and leave again for another 45 minutes. While the dough is resting, get the jalapeno and cheddar ready. Char the jalapenos using an open flame or a grill for a smokier flavor. I'm using about half a cup of cubed cheddar and about 3 jalapenos. Roughly chop the charred jalapenos and set aside. Bring the rested dough out onto a table. Wet your hands and gently stretch the dough to as wide as you can without tearing. Scatter the cheddar and the jalapenos evenly across the spread dough. Once done, roll the dough and gather into a bowl. Cover and let this dough rest undisturbed for about one and a half to two hours. After the rest, flour the dough and pre-shape into a tight bowl. Cover and let this relax for about 20 minutes before shaping. Once rested, shape the dough into a bowl. Stretch the surface and tuck it underneath to create tension. Place the shaped dough in a proofing basket, cover and refrigerate for several hours. Before you bake the bread, make sure to preheat your oven with the touch oven in if you are using one. When the oven is ready, print the dough out and invert onto a parchment. Spray some water and sprinkle with a light dusting of flour. Remove the excess flour and score the bread. Place in the oven or in the Dutch oven and bake. For specific baking instructions, please see the description below. Once baked, remove the loaf from the oven and leave on a wire rack to cool. 
This is the baked jalapeno enchilada loaf. It's got a nice crispy and golden crust. I know it's very tempting to cut into a loaf as soon as it comes out of the oven, but it's always a good idea to let it cool down a little bit before you do so. This bread has been cooled completely. So let's see what the crumb is like. As you can see, it's got a nice and open crumb with lots of creamy cheesy pockets and bits and pieces of smoky jalapenos. This bread doesn't need much, but I like mine lightly toasted and with a smear of butter. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. For more delicious recipes, please head over to my blog, myloveofbaking.com.